Okay, today we're going to learn how to make some homemade mayonnaise and make use of some turkey leftovers from Easter. Now mayonnaise used to be very difficult to make. Um, it's basically an emulsion of oil and water, but doing it by hand is pretty difficult. But here I'll show you an easy way to do it. So to start, we'll take some canola or other neutral vegetable oil, about 200 milliliters. We'll add in the juice from half a lemon. And you should do this in a tall but narrow container. Next, we'll put about 15 milliliters of water. And then a spoonful of some Dijon mustard. Here I've got, um, I've got the whole seed kind. You can do it with ground as well, it's fine. And we'll take an egg here and we want just the yolk. So egg yolks have a lot of lecithin in them and lecithin is a lipid that acts as an emulsifier. So basically it's going to let our oil and our water mix. And then using an immersion blender put the head all the way down to the bottom and as soon as you turn it on you'll see that you're already forming mayonnaise. And we just want to gently start raising it up the side of the container. Basically, as we go, the oil will be drawn in by the blades and mixed to form our mayonnaise. So this is really fast and really easy, especially compared to doing mayonnaise by hand. Um, it's perfect. You can make you can make about a cup and a half of mayonnaise in about two minutes. Um, so we use olive oil here. Just put a little bit on top to give it a little bit more flavor. Now you don't want to use olive oil for the whole thing with use the immersion blender because um, when you run olive oil through an immersion blender it actually releases some bitter compounds. So we just want to mix it in by hand after. We'll just salt the taste. Now for our turkey salad we'll take our diced turkey, add some green onions, and some fresh herbs. Here I've got dill uh, but others are, are good as well. And then we just add in our mayonnaise and toss well. Now, this is actually really good served on its own, uh, but it makes a great stuffer for sandwiches as well. So if you serve it alone, you can just sprinkle some paprika on top to give it a little bit more flavor, and I hope you enjoy.